Well, you, Amanda, no need, needs no introduction, Joe, but uh, perhaps you could just introduce yourself. I'm Joe. Uh, I'm Joe Armstrong. Airline programmer number one. Yes. <laughs> for my sins. We're curious just to hear about what's been exciting uh, you lately in the airline ecosystem. Well, um, I, I'm working with Sam Aram and he's made Sonic Pi, that's a program in Ruby. Uh, it's, a, it's for live performing music and, and it's for teaching kids to program music. Yeah. So I'm going to be playing some, some Beethoven and some Wagner and, and, and some Adele and, and kind of oh, wow. that's look, a great looking, at, that's looking at the, the musical structures and seeing how we can describe them. Yeah. So it's early days and, and uh, a lot of really tough problems. Yeah, I was going to say that. I mean, describing music is like, I worked in the telecoms industry right. for years making telecom systems. Music is far more difficult. So, I mean, it, it's really cool, really cool. And, and the ways composers have for it describing it are appallingly bad. So, so, so if, if I can make some progress in 10 years, I'll be overjoyed, you know. I mean, suppose, suppose, suppose I could do one good bit of music in 10 years, it'd be worth it. Yeah, very true. I mean, I'm thinking, like, how, if, if you could, if somebody said to you, if you spend the next 20 years of your life, you could do something like a Michelangelo painting, would it be worth it? Oh. Of course it would. It would be, there would be, it, would. it would be worth speaking that the rest of your life. Would yeah, but I mean, it would, be, it would be worth it, just for that one thing. You know, for things to be worthwhile, they, sh they should be difficult. I mean, people want to hear about Erlang and everything. I don't want to talk about it particularly. I want to talk about music and new stuff. Well, you can do That's it. what I'll be doing, <laughs> whether they like it or not. So Sam, I mean, he'd, he'd implemented Sonic Pi, and he's doing that and he, he realized he, he's kind of like he feels like oh i'm inventing airline you know it's kind of only we did that 30 years ago so so we're slowly rewriting parts of sonic pi in airline yes. and, and actually there's an airline scheduler in, in LA. and sam's got the raspberry pi foundation to to bundle airline in the next distribution of, of raspberry and so oh, you're kidding oh my god no i'm not kidding oh, no, that's be in there. That's wow. some, which is really good but he didn't tell anybody. He didn't bother to tell yeah. anybody. You know? yeah, I was just <laughs> going to say, this is a major announcement. Yeah, I mean, this is really cool. So, so he's running around. I mean, he's got, I don't know, hundreds of thousands of people have downloaded Sonic Pi, and, and it's used for like, loads of school kids all over the world. Yeah, it's huge. And I help teach kids to code too. Yeah. So definitely... And Sam does this live coding stuff. This is producing music with computer programs, which are changing as as. As, as they execute, and, and that's a new art form. That's a new musical art form that hasn't existed before. So he's he's like Mozart or Wagner or something. He's inventing a new art form, and he's probably one of the best people in the world at that. Yeah, it's going to be great. So it's really cool really cool. So I'm really privileged up. to be able to work with him. And, uh, so and Stockholm, I mean, look, it's a nice place, yeah, isn't it? Stunning. Pan the camera around, folks. This is Stockholm in the summer. It's a nice city. You got. Stockholm's tourist board will be pleased if you uh, if you make if you make some nice clips of Stockholm. Yeah.